Whenever you watch anime and you hear that voice actor of Dio's from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, you know it's gonna be a fun time. Our most recent actors like that, I think, was Kanazaki Kyohei from Data Live, as well as Miyuki's dad, remember, in Kaguya-sama. They're just such fun characters, but now, Riser in DXD is such a villain. But at the same time, I can't hate him just yet, even though he pretty much has flexed in front of us. My man summoned this harem, got a bunch of cat girls showing up too, and then he called over his queen, Yubaruna or something, and oh my god that design is amazing he starts groping her right in front of us and Issei is like oh my god you're some more of a man that i could ever be this guy riser kind of a giga chad but he's obviously a villain and a lot of people are saying they actually hate him so far i think he's hilarious kind of the same like freight where i can't really hate evil characters if they're funny what are we going to go with the rating war arc let's see in today's reaction I'm doing a camping Hi. episode no, he needs to physically train himself. Damn, Kiba! And, he's ha and he has an extra ba uh, bag. Can we know Koniko strong, though? We know Koniko strong. What are we doing? Training episode, maybe? Training arc, let's go. I hope it's uh, not a boring training arc, though. How, though? We need to increase his base strength so that when we get multiplied by two. Bro, you need to train. True. Bro, oh. But remember, Issa got clapped by that one girl with the stick in like less than two seconds. Koniko may be lacking the department, but Koniko still... I like Koniko. She's funny. Yeah, there's some to be some kind of a flashback. What happened? Maybe his family was killed by them. Wait, why are we learning swordsmanship? Issei is not a swordsman. Hmm. Here we go. This is probably more important. Let's see. Uh, I can't focus on Akino's being like this. Oh my god. I can't focus. Okay, well, Ash is talented. Okay, whatever. Ice? I thought Akino was just lightning, but interesting. Does Issei have magic? What I, all we've seen do is just punch. He can't focus. He's just gonna think about titties, dude. He just think about them big ass and big titties, bro, in his head. Is he concentrating the- Look, what are we looking at? <laughs> so dumb, bro. <laughs> bro, come on. Akino, there's two gigantic things distracting us. God bless the cameraman for this angle. Oh, oh, but some people might enjoy this, you know, this kind of service. Yeah. We suck at everything. No magic, no swordsmanship, but physical strength. What about physical strength? Boost to wait in 10 seconds. <laughs> yes. Boost to. <laughs> so we're a horny hard worker. Hi. Oh, I like it when Koniko like approves of us, you know? <laughs> they are huge. They, they are incredibly huge. Oh, wait. How? He thought about him. Wait. I was theorizing in the earlier episodes that maybe Issa gets stronger the more hornier he gets. But I thought that was with this boosto. Like the more hornier he got, more boosto. But what the? It's just tearing the clothes apart, right? Okay, great. You can peel onions. But this is all just like, you know, exposing the clothes. If you, the clothes right now is the potato peels and stuff, but what are we going to do with that? You're a pervert and you work hard. Specialize in the pervert. <laughs> You're just imagining all of you naked right now. <laughs> Honestly, pretty decent. We figured out something. The pervertness is the source of our power. Thanks, Riaz. That doesn't help me feel very good. Together? Team bath? Team bath? Okay. It's a team bonding exercise. Maybe Koniko would mind, though. Oh! True, and Asha doesn't care. What about Koniko, though? I think Koniko's the only one that'd be like... Mm. Based. <laughs> we got teased, man. No, I don't want Koniko to hate us. 
Them titties are not bouncing around. This is lazy animation. He's gonna peek, right? No, if, if X-ray vision, he'll unlock it. He'll unlock X-ray vision. Yes. <laughs> if he tries hard enough, maybe. Imagine this actually works. He like tries to be so horny and like somehow it unlocks like X-ray vision. No, 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 it's not working, right? Oh, Akino, what's the transition scene? Oh, 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 Jesus, I can't sew this one though. Riser? No, this is back at Arias's older brother. Hello? But if we use Busto enough, what does the brother look like? Oh, red hair. Basically, husband Rias. It's just stripping a girl, right? Like, so we're gonna just like strip Asha. <laughs> Don't you have your own clothes you could use? He's gonna strip you. Here we go, and it's gonna get stripped. Wow, who would have thought? I feel like we're infighting though. The devil shouldn't be fighting amongst each other. We should be focusing on the the fallen angels and the other angels, right? Hmm. Sorry for stripping your clothes. Oh? Was he? Hmm. Does he have some sort of like wind magic? Because what we're seeing is he just gets horny and he goes like, huh, and he's able to like put peel potato skin or onion skin and now clothes. The ultimate move? Yo, we're get this is getting kind of hype. Ultimate move? Holy water, bad, gotcha. You'll... I don't know. It'll be like acid to you? The Bible? The fuck is the Bible gonna do? Yeah, burn the Bible. Yep. Yes. Oh, Akano. Oh, Akano. What passage? No, stop praying. You're gonna get a headache again. Asya's so cute. Stop, Asya! Both. She's just like... What's the word? She's funny. Not on purpose. Ooh, private one-on-one -on -one time with Rias? Riser the Phoenix. Wow, whatever. Immortal bird? Fuck the bird. We're a dragon, bro. We're a dragon. Can they, like, re resurrect immortality? We can't die? Well, how do we beat him then? We need to have an attack that he cannot regenerate from. Interesting. He lost on purpose? Oh my god, look at you, Beruna, man. Look at the cat girl faction. That's the funniest part. And there's this one girl too with the lolly, uh, the the drills. Oh shit! What are we supposed to do against an immortal being? No, I think I think Rias was actually happy that Issei stepped in last episode because she loves you more. Issei. Rias is a piece of shit. Oh, yellow today, okay. Yes, part of the Gremory family. You're an asset to the family. For the sake of the Gremory family who's broke, you must go into the Phoenix family and bring us money. It's like a political marriage. I think... And like, Issei loves Rias because of who Rias is and not because of the Gremory family. Oh my god, a translucent nightgown is insane. Pretty much. Issei was just so horny, he didn't care about the prestige or the title of the Rias like Gremory family, right? <laughs> All he saw was the titties, not the family name. <laughs> Don't let Asha hear that. Oh, she's blushing. I think he's actually rizzing her up, man. Look at them nightgowns, man. I'm not gonna censor this shit. Nope. The Phoenix, but it's okay because we have a dragon with us this time. Hmm? 
cultivated through the generations of Grimori family? Whoa. Damn, okay, okay, Rias. Is the ability she's talking about like the, like, checkmate when she like disintegrates, you know, the, the fallen angels and devils? That you're weak? Yeah. No, he said, believe in yourself. This is kind of true. But he has main character qualities. Those kind of things. Jumping in because of heroism is main character quality. This is giving me confidence, all right. <laughs> More confidence, please. Yo, fucking suffocate me in the confidence. How am I supposed to stay calm when she's doing this? Oh, all right. Well, I'm staying up all night then. Their bond is quite good, though. If we ignore the horny stuff and just look at the story perspective of Issei, this random dude and, the, and Grim, like Rias Grimori trying to get away from all that family bullshit, like, there's something special here. Boost. Why is Konako the only one in the bloomers? I think the author decided, you know, they want to <laughs> do that to Konako. Boost. Use the ultimate skill with it. One more. Oh? Boost! Oh, wait, what is the difference between waiting 10 seconds and him calling out Boost? Boost! Boost! Boo <laughs> wait, instead of waiting two minutes, you can just manually call it like that? He's able to handle it more too now. Okay, great. We can go times 12. Wait, wait, wait! Kiba's only got a wooden sword! Relax! Just gives him more physical ability? I'd hope that we can fight against Kiba who only has a wooden sword if he stacked up twice with a sacred gear, bro! Come on! Take the shot! Wait, don't kill him, though! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I don't know how, but we can just shoot beams like that, too. He leveled a mountain. I can't believe he shot that at Kiba. Yo, Rias, what the fuck? You put Kiba in there with the wooden sword after you made Issei boost 12 times. One of the 13 long in his boosted sacred gear. <laughs> Poor Kiba, man. Amazing, but I can't believe you almost killed me there. <laughs> Oh. Wow, it broke the wooden sword. Yeah. Yes. Believe in everyone that believes in you. Let's go. Even Koniko smiling. Yes. Fuck your rank and name. We just care about your titties, these Rias. Rias is hard. Slowly being swayed. I can't believe this is happening. All right, we got through the stereotypical training arc. You know, training arcs always happen. I'm glad it was only one episode. It was pretty exciting, too. We got a little bit more about the lore and the history of devils, fallen angels, the different 72 pillars, whatnot. The exorcist, the Bible, the holy water. But more importantly, how magic kind of works is I thought that Akuno could only use lightning. The lightning priestess. But it turns out, like, she can use ice, too. Still kind of unfamiliar with how magic kind of works in this world. But basically, Issei, the more hornier he gets... The stronger he becomes, kind of. And at the end there with the boosto, I was confused because I thought 10 seconds is is like every 10 seconds we double up and it says boosto. But there Rias basically forced Issei to just boosto 12 times in a row. And it's also cool that, I don't know, the more we train, the more physically capable we are, the more multipliers we can handle. So far, it's times 12. I just can already imagine a future where it's just like times 9,000 or some shit. Riser is probably gonna get obliterated by Issei's beam because he re like, he's able to like reincarnate or like re resurrect himself. He was the immortal phoenix. He got regeneration. But how can you regenerate yourself if we just use an industry like a beam that just like disintegrates you corely? I think that's where we're going with this. But next episode is gonna be amazing. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.